Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekend prep video. So it is Saturday morning and I'm actually downtown because I have an appointment to get my hair cut and highlighted this morning. So super excited about that. I think I'm actually going to get some highlights put in it. I have not had any color put in my hair since before the start of the pandemic and I like it. I kind of just want a little bit of like variation. So I'm going to do that. I already went and got my almond milk latte so hallelujah so what we have for this weekend is that today we are gonna have some people over for pizza tonight Adam arranged that because it's my birthday tomorrow and then I have some things to do around the house like always I would really love to clean a master bathroom <laughs> if I can get to it and then also we're gonna be redoing Connor's room similar to how I showed you guys how I redid Kira's uh, last month so I'll link that video down below if you missed that but he's very excited to get a new bed and some new decor in his room. So anyway, come along with me. We'll see what we can get done. All right, so I just got done getting my hair done. It feels much better. She did put a little bit of blonde in it, so that's always nice. Okay, I think I'm gonna go to Hy-Vee because I need to get cake maybe <laughs> for tonight, and I also wanna make a salad, so I wanna get stuff for that too, and then go home and get ready for everyone to come over, which means I need to clean off my dining room table so we can have some place to eat. Okay, so I wanted to jump in here really quickly and give you guys a heads up that Warby Parker is sponsoring this week's weekend prep video. So thank you to them. I have five pairs of glasses. Actually, I have four pairs of glasses and one pair of sunglasses to try on. You guys know that I love Warby Parker. I have been using them for what feels like years. <laughs> I used them even before they sponsored me here on YouTube. So I can definitely vouch for their service. I have many pairs of their glasses and I love all of them. It's super convenient because you can do everything online. They have a feature where you can actually try out the glasses on your phone and then you order them for a home try on. You can try them out at home, show them to friends, get their opinions, and then you order it. Everything comes in the mail easy peasy. Warby Parker is dedicated to providing exceptional vision care and they offer not just glasses and sunglasses, but they also offer contacts as well as eye exams. Their lenses start at just $95, including prescription lenses. Okay, so I'm really excited to try these on for you guys because I think I have some winners here and I'm not quite sure which one I'm gonna order yet. This one is the Abner and I believe the color is Rosemary Fade. I really, really love these. <laughs> I think that they look really nice and honestly I love the way that they fit too. That's another thing is when you order from them you can choose what width of frame that you need. I have a large head so I need the wide <laughs> frames so it's super easy for me to get the you know the size that I need but I really like those. These are the Sylvan and these are like in a pink rose color. I really like these too. I don't have a, a pink pair and I feel like they're kind of funky. One thing I want to mention too is if you can see the glare on these it's because these are just like test lenses. When you get your actual glasses with the real lenses they'll have the anti-reflective coating on there but these may be a winner as well. Sometimes too they'll offer them in different colors so if you find a frame that fits you really well and you like of it and there's a different color on their website you can get that as well. These are the Durand and actually I have I think I have a pair of these but in a different color but I don't have a like a rose crystal one like this or maybe it's like a tan I'm not sure I can't tell these are actually really comfortable as well now these are the ones that I kind of liked I kind of think they're funky and I actually used to have a pair of glasses like this like a couple pairs of glasses ago they're like nice and sturdy I don't know very studious what do you guys think between those four let me know and then also I got a pair of sunglasses to try on I have a pair of their sunglasses I really like them I like this pair too actually maybe even, even a little bit more like this white detail around here so yeah look at me I'm cool anyway if you guys want to try out Warby Parker I'll have a link in the description box below it's just warbyparker.com slash Jen you'll get five pairs of glasses to try on at home with no obligation to buy totally recommend so now I'm gonna go into my Warby Parker app and figure out which pair I want once again the link is Warby 
jennyparker.com slash Jen. Thanks you guys as always for your support when I do sponsored content. And thank you again to Warby Parker for sponsoring this week's weekend prep video. All right. So after I got home from getting my hair done, I just wanted to get some things done around the kitchen. I had gotten these soap containers from Grove that I wanted to fill up. And then I had a bunch of dishes to put away that were clean in the dishwasher. So I went ahead and did that. And then of course I had another load of dirty dishes to <laughs> load up in the dishwasher. The fun never ends. And it always seems like the weekend is the time when I really take the time to get everything clean in my kitchen, including all of my dishes that are sitting around in the sink. So now I'm getting ready to make some salad for company tonight. We are having people over and having pizza. So I am making this dairy-free Whole30, I guess, paleo homemade Caesar dressing. So I'm just showing you here how I'm putting it together in the blender. I did get this recipe off of a blog, so I'll link it down below. But essentially, you just kind of put all of the ingredients except the avocado oil in the blender. And then as it's running, you drizzle the avocado oil in kind of like to like you would make you know homemade mayonnaise and then you thin it out with almond milk and this is so good i would definitely recommend trying this recipe next i'm going to get some romaine lettuce chopped up and just going to get that into my salad spinner and i will squeeze some lemon juice in there and soak that romaine so that it doesn't brown and then i will spin it dry and place my lettuce into the bowl i always like to have salad available when we order pizza and have people over just because i feel like it's a good side dish and it kind of takes away from the heaviness of the pizza. So in the Caesar salad, you saw me there putting together some tomatoes and some olives. So I'm just chopping those up. I don't really know if olives are traditional in a Caesar salad, but I had them on hand. Actually, I don't think cucumbers are traditional either, but I wanted to include those anyway. So the next thing I'm doing is cutting up some strawberries. I wanted to have these on hand for the cheesecake. And here is the pizza that we ordered. Since it was my birthday, I got to choose and I chose Happy Joe's, which is is my favorite if you guys are from the Midwest and have had it let me know here is that salad and then we had some veggies on the side and then instead of all cake we had cheesecake and cake so after dinner I wanted to have some of this coffee that my sister actually brought me from Mexico where she went on vacation a couple weeks ago so I'm just making it in my pour over it's a Bodum coffee pour over that I got from Walmart and this was really great coffee I have not been having dairy well except when I kind of cheated and had birthday pizza. <laughs> so I'm putting a little almond milk creamer in my coffee and this was a delicious nightcap. Okay, so really quick before I go to bed, I thought I would share with you guys the order that I got from Hungry Root this week. I don't get sponsored by them. I just order this stuff on my own, so I'll link their site down below. I also have a $50 off coupon code if you wanna use that, but I really like using this stuff for meal prep for quick, like healthy lunches during the week. They sent this plant-based everyday doll. It's green split pea plus spinach and coconut, and then some seasoned jasmine rice. I've never had this from them before, but it looks good and really quick. And then they always kind of send some neat snacks too. This is a snack pack with roasted red pepper hummus and hummus chips. They also sent some crunchy veggie slaw. I think this is supposed to go with the sesame ginger dressing that's in here. So that's always a nice sort of salad prep. This is a rainbow veggie mix that I believe is supposed to go in a stir fry. And then I get these every week for the kids to snack on these pea snaps. These are good, they're just whole fruit. It's basically just like uh, one mango, like dried into a strip. And then these pre-cooked, oh no, this isn't chicken. I thought it was chicken breast. No, these are pre-cooked grilled boneless pork chops. So those will be good for a meal prep. Oh, these chicken burgers are really good. They are Southwest style. They have corn, rice, black beans, and poblano in them. They're really good with guacamole. This is good too, this coconut cashew grain-free granola. I usually eat that on yogurt. If you've never tried these Hail Mary little dessert packs, they're super delicious. I have never got them from Hungry Root before. I've always gotten them from like specialty stores, but I believe, I don't think they're sugar-free, but they are vegan. And then I got this honey poppy seed dressing. So I'm looking forward to trying that these spring roll wrappers so I was actually thinking that I was craving these I've been eating like 
basically grain-free, dairy-free, and sugar-free. So kind of like paleo, but I've also been eating beans and things like that. So I'm just trying to basically eat in a better way that makes me feel better. These are not paleo because they have rice flour in them, but per two wrappers, I mean, it's pretty negligible. So I might make those for lunch this week. Some of these partake birthday cake cookies. These are also vegan and gluten-free. This is the cooked chicken breast that they always have. It's really good. I've actually sliced this up and made fajitas out of it. It's good on salads. And then some wild caught gulf shrimp. So what they do is they'll send you basically recipes that you can make out of the ingredients in this box. So on this one, they have a salad with the pea snaps, rainbow veggie mix, chicken breast, and honey poppy seed dressing, a warm bowl with the pork chops, dal, and rice, and then a wrap with the veggie slot, shrimp, sesame ginger dressing, and the sprinkle wrappers. Yum, that sounds good. So maybe I'll meal prep some of those things tomorrow, but for now I'm going to go to bed. Hey guys, good Sunday morning. I'm just out here watering my plants that desperately need it. We have not had any rain for a little while, so I need to get that done. So the other thing that I wanted to do on this day was to get my kitchen cleaned up. My stove needed it desperately and I was actually going to make some salsa this afternoon which you guys have already seen in a canning video so hopefully you enjoyed that. So here's a look at the before of Connor's room and it's actually <laughs> kind of messy right now because we're in transition but I thought I would give you guys a before shot. So that's his old bed. This was kind of a hand-me-down set from Adam's parents. We're going to keep the desk. I think I'm probably going to take the LED lights down. We're going to rearrange the shelves and then these are the bookcases that I ordered to display most of his Legos. Over here I have all of the stuff that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. His bedding. So I did have to order new bedding because he's going from a queen. Or I'm sorry from a full to a queen. So I got that from Brooklyn and but I'll show you that a little bit later. But anyway I just wanted to give you a sense of how it looks now. And yes those LED lights are falling down. That's why I think I'm going to get rid of them. Okay so for Connor's mattress we decided to order again from Nectar. This is the second time that we've ordered from them for our kids' beds, and I would definitely recommend them. They are super easy to put together. They're not paying me to say this. We bought them with our own money, and I've never worked with them here on YouTube before. Adam helped me put the bed up, but as you can see, Murphy approves of it. They ship it right to your house, which is awesome. So after he got the bed put together, you can kind of see the room is still in disarray here. So I'm just putting on the duvet cover. So I ordered the cover from Brooklinen, and then I got the insert, the duvet insert from Amazon. So I can link all of this stuff down below. You can kind of see the progress here. We have the bookcases up and Connor was super excited to see it. All right, so it's actually the following day and I wanted to provide you guys an update on Connor's room. As predicted, I did not get it all done in one day. I figured it would take me a couple days. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I've done so far. And then later on this week, I'll make a more comprehensive video kind of detailing how I did the whole thing, but I'll just show you a little bit. So we did get the bed set up. Like I said, Nectar mattress is where we got Connor's and where we got Kira's mattress before. I would definitely recommend them. They're super easy in terms of setup. Obviously I had Adam help me but even if I had to do it myself I think I could probably manage it and then these are the bookcases that I ended up ordering from Amazon I really like how they look on either side of the bed we decided to keep the bed over here I kind of wanted to try and move it over here but we have Ethernet hookup over there later on for when he gets a computer so I think we're gonna leave the desk I need to obviously decorate these bookshelves but these are some of the things that we wanted or he wanted to display he loves putting together Legos and so it would be really nice for him to have a place to display all of them and then we went ahead and took the rail shelf from over there and moved it here so we kind of have the bookcase and then the rail shelf on top of it with the Marvel canvas in the middle which I think looks really nice this is actually a Lego Iron Man piece that Connor put together so he wanted to display that I did pick up a few things from Hobby Lobby and Amazon and different things like that which I'll go over later in that video I did get the bedding from Brooklyn in they sponsored a video for me like several 
several months back and ever since then I have purchased and repurchased their items on my own just because I love the quality of their sheets. It really does feel like you're sleeping in a hotel bed. Connor said he really enjoyed it last night. So we're gonna leave the desk over there. Still need to redo his bathroom, which I'll share that in the video. And then I did get this light up sign from Amazon, which I need to straighten a little bit better, but it's an LED kind of video game light. It's obviously not straight. I just have it hanging up there for now just to stay off the floor. Um, and then here's some other Legos that he has over here put together that I'll need to find a place for. So the other thing I need to kind of decide is if I'm gonna keep this black cube shelf. I'm kind of leaning towards no, but if I do keep it, I'll probably put it over there. I'm just kind of thinking about where I'm gonna put all of his books because these are all the books that he's keeping. Most of the like children's books I'm giving to Goodwill. I did save some for the kids to have when they're older if they want them, but I'm gonna give these to Goodwill. So I'll need to go through this shelf right here. But yeah, I think it's gonna come together really nicely. I'm sorry, again, I didn't get it done <laughs> in this video, but that's fine. You guys will see it in a later one. Obviously Murphy is enjoying the bed as well. So that's what I have for you guys this weekend. I didn't get a lot of cleaning done like I wanted to, but it was my birthday and we had other priorities. We had a delicious dinner last night, which was really good. So thank you guys so much for watching this week's weekend prep video. Don't forget to check out Warby Parker and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.